All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think hopefully you all can hear me okay. I think my audio is working. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, <laughs> we have our very large Gariel here, Pranit, who he's absolutely massive. Like, I. I did not know that they were going to be this big. Okay, good volumes, good rain says. Thank you for checking me on that. I, I did not know he was going to be this big because the females are a lot smaller and apparently <laughs> there is a significant size discrepancy with this species and I did not know that. Yay, glad glad to hear it. Thank you guys for checking me and thank you for coming on and then hanging out over here. Uh, hopefully we're going to have some fun here. We're going to go ahead and we're. I'm hoping to have kind of a busy day today. Hopefully we're going to get both a sort of reptile house area in and our giant otter exhibit at least started. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off pause. Uh-oh, we've got um, we got some trash happening here though, so maybe I shouldn't unpause just yet. Um, oops, not that. Uh, the, 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 where is this? Let's look at facilities, I think. If we go to bins, benches, and security, we wanna make sure if we see trash happening, we want to put some bins in wherever it is. So I guess people are carrying their food farther than I figured they would, because we've got the bins right here, but um, not entirely, uh, not enti entirely canceling it out. And let's actually place some over here as well, just so we've got a little extra um, in case people are carrying their food over this way. So, because we do have our food and info center in here, which is a pretty good spot for it, I think. But we want to make sure that uh, they're not just dumping their trash everywhere. So, let's... Did I just... Oh, I, it must have been like a, a sound ear or some sort of sound something or another. Because I thought I heard an elephant. I was like, we don't have elephants. What's going on? Um, but yeah. Oh, did... Do we spend? No, it must. It's just a new month. Okay, that's why our money went down suddenly. I was like, what in the heck is happening? But okay, we've got five months till our inspector arrives. Let's kind of bring this area up a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I want to put in kind of a uh, a reptile house area over here. But I also want to put in like a little bit of, I think, kind of a food court-ish area, perhaps, as well. Oop, that was not quite what I Well, I guess I can just smooth it out like this. Um, kind of like a food court area somewhere in this, uh, this region, too. So let's go ahead, we will go to paths, and we'll bring this down, and this, this will kind of be the basis of our area. Um... Yeah, <laughs> no, I did not add elephants off stream. I was like, what's? I was just as confused. Uh, I don't do a whole lot off st off screen or off stream, but uh, I, I certainly wouldn't be adding elephants. <laughs> so, um, hmm. Well, I saw our quarantine is passed too. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I did not want to uh, delete that. But so our quarantine is passed. So Pablo is good to go. Pablo is is uh, our giant otter. We're hopefully gonna be adding him in today. But let's um, let's move him for now back to the trading center because we learned that we cannot just um, we 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 can't just uh, uh, unfortunately we're not we can't just. Um, keep them in the quarantine. We learned that the hard way recently and it caused some problems, so we're not doing that again. But what I do want to do... Hold on, cash. Why did... Oh boy, why is our cash going down so freaking low? Alright, I'm gonna actually pause this so that it doesn't keep happening. Uh, we have been spending some money, but I'm getting a little bit nervous about this again. So what I want to do is... Um, oh, you just started with Timberwolves. Nice. And we're gonna want to add some of them to this zoo at some point, too. Just not quite in this area. We're still kind of in a tropical sort of biome uh, for now. So what I first of all want to do... I'll put in a shell, I think, for our... Um, well, actually, let me remove some of these paths and then I'll align to grid because um, I want to do square edges. We'll do that up here. Um, I'm gonna start to put in the shell for some buildings over here if we go to facilities, or not facilities, I just want construction because we're gonna put in sort of another area over here, but I'm not gonna put any buildings in it just yet, we're just gonna have kind of the coming soon area, um, because what I want to do today is I want to put in like a, a sort of reptile house area, and so, um, we're gonna be doing that, I don't know... Alright, hold on, hold, hold up here. I think that's about aligned, probably. 
little bit, little bit off. I want to try to get it straight relative to this. It's kind of fidgety. No. Uh, that's gonna be good enough. All right, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Oh wait, no, I've been, um, okay, I see what I've been doing. We need to move this all back and then we gotta move the whole thing forward. So we've got, we can do about three here. Um, let's get the whole group and then, um, oops, exit. I want to move the whole group. We're gonna just nudge this forward and a little bit sideways because we'll kind of put that here and this will be our new area. So let's make sure we just kind of build that out. Um, Hey, Gus is here. Gus, Gus, come look at your, come look at your boy. Well, we don't have him in exhibit yet, but, um, uh, summer or I gotta open animal storage, but in our animal storage, once it loads in, we have Pablo the Giant River Otter. He's right here. Uh, we're gonna be hopefully putting him in his exhibit today, but, uh, yeah, this is, for those of you who don't know, uh, we had a joke a, a little while back about Gus having to make a giant river otter character, and Gus has a character named Pablo, so when we found a giant river otter named Pablo at the end of last stream, we had to get him. <laughs> so this is, this is gonna be Gus's otter. <laughs> um, that we're putting in here. I, I haven't been playing off camera. Uh, I want to try to do as much as I can with the zoo on camera. I'm only going to be playing off camera if there's something that I don't want to be doing on the stream yet. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. He is glorious indeed. Um, he certainly is. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. We are going to put in kind of a, a fancier top here. Uh, we will do this. We will do this. Uh, we'll go around here, and again, I'll probably reskin these at some point, but uh, not just yet. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and put a riff on, um, and we'll. So what I want, what I want to do is, we're going to be mostly building the reptile house. Uh, we're running out of, um, we're running out of money though, is the problem. So I hope that doesn't get to be a problem because I want to put in. You know, actually, maybe what we should do, because I don't want to, I don't want to run out of money. Maybe we should put in the exhibits first or start with one of them because I know what I want to do with the reptile house sort of thing. Well, I say reptile house. Well, actually, no, I don't think we have enough money for that even, so we might have to pause and let it go back up and take a look at our finances. Um, ah, man, I was hoping we'd be able to get a lot done today, but maybe if we're having financial issues again, that might be a little bit harder. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I hope we can, I hope we can still get both the otter exhibit and the, um, the uh, reptile and insect house in here. Um, we might want to theme it one way or another, actually. I'm not totally sure. But we're going to kind of do something a little bit like this to make the shape of it a bit different. Um, cat on desk typing hard. Yeah, yeah, that, that be how it be with, um, with, uh, with cats sometimes. So we've got kind of this area and we can actually probably just link that right up to our, um, our, our area back here, perhaps, from some of the shops, we can kind of have a little um, connection area. In fact, I think we could probably path in, not cube, we want staff paths. Is this, this is the right path. We want to make it a lot shorter. Um, if I align to grid, we could do, oops, that's maybe not the best. Let's deselect the grid. We'll kind of do one this, oh, no, nope, I can't do that. Um, let's try like this. And then we can, yeah, we can just put it right like that. And so that'll make it easier for our vendors to get in and out. Uh, we probably ought to put maybe some bathrooms here too, but I'm gonna build that a little bit later. For now, we gotta look at our finances. Ah, thank you. Yeah, uh, we're gonna put a reptile house on the other side of this. So let's go, oh, giant otter is the most appealing. People really wanna see the otter. Um, we're gonna have to put him in for sure. Uh, I forgot we had like a whole thing where we can look at the whole thing. What I want to look at is the finances here. So, ongoing expenses, staff wages is definitely, oh, and animal food. Mmm, that's a difficult thing. Um, because we're feeding a lot of the animals, and I don't think... If I look at the animals, can we move some of them? We can't probably move them to the trading center, can we? So we know we want to keep Mermina. I might move the other females, if I hit move, can we move some of them off exhibit and to the trading center? Yes. Oh, we can. Okay. So let's move a lot of the juveniles out. Um, am I 
not allowed to see? Yeah, we've got a lot of them, so let's, let's move them all here. And that might make it a little bit easier, although, um, well, actually maybe not, because I bet they still have a food fee there. And I don't know if we can sell them, so we might want to have just a few at a time in there. Um, oh, no worries, Gus, we'll catch you soon. We're, we're not building the exhibit just yet. So let's see if we move them out and we look at our zoo expenses. Um, animal food facility. Yeah, the biggest expense is by far the animal food. So we need to get rid of some of the, uh, some of the animals that we have that we're not going to be keeping, I think. Um, let's go back because I want to see. There we go. We can kind of see. So we've got, we've got, okay, Ludmila. Okay, I think we, we're getting everybody over here. So there are only three of us in live. There's, I think there's about three of us chatting, but we've got a lot of people who are watching. Actually, we've got even more people than there were before, so welcome to everybody who's new. Not everybody is in chat at the moment, though. And if you're new here and you have not followed the stream, make sure you go ahead and do that because you don't want to miss when I'm going live next. Um, it's definitely not something you'll want to be missing here. So we're moving these guys out slowly, I think. Um, we probably want to boost the scenery around the Trade Center, too. Um, if you look at animal storage, though, I don't know if we can actually sell. So I don't know. All we can do is move. So I don't know if that'll cut down on the food amount yet. I don't think that it does. Um, which is kind of a problem. How are people feeling? Okay, no security guards, but I don't think we've got- I don't think that's an issue. Yeah, following help- following definitely helps me on the Twitch, uh, on Twitch in general. I'm hopefully gonna get a, uh, affiliate as soon as I can here, and that'll let me do fun things like bits and- or take- uh, take bit donations and, um, have subscriptions, and that'll be fun, because then I can start introducing in-game rewards for anybody who's gonna support me here on Twitch. So, by following, you're helping with that, too. Um, I'm gonna reset that so the duck floats properly. So, ah, thank you for following, yeah. It definitely helps out for anyone who can. So, I don't think... If I look at the zoo... I don't think that's actually what's helping. We're still on an overall upward trend. This is not what I'm looking at. Um, ongoing expenses, yeah, it's not helping to have them in here, so I'm gonna move them back. Uh, if we open our animal storage, it's you still pay to feed them, it seems like, which makes sense, makes sense. So let's go ahead and we'll move back to here. Um, oh, you follow number nine, wow, congratulations. Thank you for following me so early on. Oh yeah, that is, it is quite fun. I'm just, just getting started on here, so that's a nice, um, nice early start. Yeah, oh, I didn't know there's a way you could actually see him from the stream. I, I can see, uh, on the stream view, uh, how many people are following, but I didn't know you can actually see it, um, or how many people are watching, so I didn't know, uh, you could actually see that, though. Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do... Uh, our money is kind of precarious. What we really need to be able to do, because what, what's ca what's giving us a hard time right now is I think how many caimans we have. Um, so, uh, oh, that's that's hand that is handy if you need to contact a mod. Um, I think the issue that we're having here, so I'm gonna start expanding this path just a little bit because I kind of know what I want to do with this, but I think it's just the number of caimans is causing us a little bit of trouble here. So we might want to hold off on some of the animal breeding for a little bit um, and maybe make sure that uh, we can't have too many babies. Although I don't think the gharials have really been uh, breeding at the same frequency as the caimans did. That was a little little bit insane. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted. I want this area. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. No, I don't- I want it to be- I want it to be flat, and I don't think it is actually flat. Okay, this works, I guess. So, I want to make sure that we kind of smooth out- Did it, like, ease its way back down? I think it may have. Alright, um, I gotta shrink it down here. Because if we do this- oh, this'll help, alright. Um, I'm very confused. I'm very confused here. If I do flatten foundation, that should bring it to the- no, it should not. I think somehow we've gotten a little bit off here. <laughs> our, um, our, our, our zone was not quite flat, I think. So hopefully this helps. We're up to 4,000 at least. 
I really want it to just like all be flat around here though so that we can place our stuff in. Um, let's go and what I do want to do here is start uh, putting in the beginnings of our like our reptile house here and so what I the first thing I want to do is I actually want to place in an exhibit so if you go to facilities we can place in a small animal exhibit I'm just gonna place one why can I not place oh I can I not place it this close malformed path part great um hmm are we going to have to undo some of this? I'm going to undo a lot of this. Sorry to the, um, the person that I just uh, messed up there. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's see if this will be better if I go to facilities. Inspector has arrived at the zoo. Alright, if why can't I place right there though? No! This is aggravation. Alright, I'm going to clear out this entire area back here, and we're going to just flatten it up like this. We're going to make it very flat because it's giving us problems. <laughs> uh, oh, you've been playing for four or five days. Nice. That's really cool. Um, let's see if we can make this very flat because I really want it to be a flat region that we can, we can place our, our buildings on. I don't know why this is such a problem. Alright, let's... not like that, though. Let's go this way. And that one was obstructed, sure. But let's... this way we can keep going like that. This way we can keep going like this, right? But if I go to facilities now, can we place it in? There we go, that's a lot better. Alright. I want it... if I place it here, I think it should be still viewable. We might have to move it around, but we'll see. So now what I can do, we don't have an animal to go in there yet, but I'm going to kind of start building around it. And um, hopefully we get more income coming in. Uh, so if I go... Well, that's a little bit, a little bit wonky there. But uh, what we can do is... I'll do like an arch in the front, an arch in the back. We're going to have another, um, another exhibit over here. But I kind of want to, let, let's make, let's do like round logs here. So let's go, if I go like this, and I go like that, and I go like that, that should work. It's because I want to kind of place the path through here. And we'll kind of have it wind its way around, I think. That's only going to have one on the inside. So let's go down like this. And Inspector has left. That's handy. So we'll go see the report, I think. Uh, we can't place a path right there, can we? Alright, let's look at the Inspector report. Uh -huh. um, education facilities are getting better, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm gonna... Uh, I want to place this in, though. Oh, it, it did let me. Weird. Okay, then. <laughs> um... So let's see, I want to make this a little bit, I think we need to go one further with this so that this can be placed properly. Let's go down. No, stop that. Stop that. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go further because it's snapping in places it shouldn't be. Um, and I will answer questions momentarily, I just want to um, go a little bit, a little bit further with this. Alright, I think that'll work. So if we do that, that'll let us kind of have a little bit of a loop where we can go around our exhibits. Why is this so difficult, though? I go like this, and I go like that. That works. There we go. Why does that have to be so crooked? Maybe we don't want to go that way. Maybe we want to go out this way. And then we can have, like, a, another... No, that's not what I wanted from you. I don't know why it's like this. But it is like this for some reason. So if I go, let's remove this one. And if I go here, that'll go straight in. Okay, that works. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and save this too so it doesn't uh, glitch out. Occasionally, sometimes the paths will crash it, I've found, or at least they have in the past. So I'm hoping that won't happen. 
Uh, what other games do I like, though, you had asked. Um, games all day had asked. So I play a lot of different games. I play some of them here on Twitch, so like Planet Zoo I play here. Uh, but I also play uh, a lot of uh, games on my other channel, or on my YouTube channel, which is JPlays. And um, I believe I have some links to that. I play Wolf Quest. I have played Niche. I want to get back into playing Niche again. <laughs> Um, I play Minecraft. I play a lot of different things, so it kind of just depends um, on. Uh, it kind of depends on the day and what, what I feel like doing. All right. Um, I guess that works. That's close enough. So let's see, because we'll have. Hmm. I really want. I really want there to be like enough here. Oh, where our money is going up, which is good. Um, we gotta figure out what animals we want in there, too. I want, I'm gonna exit the group so that we can uh, move some of these trees, because they're very much in the way. And hopefully, I might freeze it once it's daytime, because uh, we have, um, we have a little bit of a visibility problem happening here. So let's go to construction, and we'll continue placing around here. I'm just gonna, oh good, it is gonna be daytime, though. I'm just going to continue placing some of these in all the way around here, and this will be kind of the border of it. And some of these will be visible from the outside, some of them will not. This corner, we're probably not gonna have too much we can place in, but this should let us um, start placing more exhibits in eventually. Uh, I just wanna kinda work on um, getting this a little bit more set up. <laughs> So, is Planet Zoo hard? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's hard. I do enjoy it quite a lot, too. Um, but it, it can be a challenging game in some ways. So, it can be a little bit. Uh, it's, it's difficult to, um, difficult to, to keep everything balanced at the, t at the, the right. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot you have to keep balanced and keep, uh, straight in your head at one time. That can be. So, I'm going to build kind of a sort of a shape like this um and we'll have the walls come up a little further here and um this will kind of help give some extra shape to the build i don't know it's probably not we probably don't want a second floor to actually have more animals on it we could do that but that would be a lot maybe what we could do is we could possibly include guest or um some of the uh staff facilities somewhere up here and have a little bit more but that might be kind of difficult to do without having um without having the guests be mad about it so we'll see we'll see how that looks uh let's place in some roof for now though because i do want to add some of that right yeah it definitely can be a bit of a tricky game in some ways so that is for sure. All right, let's go up this way. Go in from the side there. All of these are going to be exhibits. We're already going to have a lot of animals, which is kind of why I'm thinking it might be nice to have um, another... What am I trying to say? It, it might be nice to have more uh, staff areas back behind it, perhaps. That might be helpful. So if I, hmm, let's place in some, we can put in the arch, we'll put in an arch here. I will put in an arch here, kind of just as people are going in. And then we probably will put ceilings in. That'll kind of limit the visibility for some of the exhibits, but some of them will be visible from the outside then, hopefully. And I wanna see, let's see. Yeah, having fun, having fun is the most important thing uh, with games, so even if it is challenging, um, as long as you're enjoying it, that's kind of the biggest thing, I, I think. Rain is spot on to say that. So yeah, ch challenging games can be fun in their own right. Alright, let's go up all the way. I think that's right. We go over here, we go like this. This is by far the biggest building we have in the zoo that uh, thus far. <laughs> um, let's go this way. So if we have any staff facilities, they'll probably be way up here. So let's maybe take a look at some of that because if I were to put, well, I can't. I can't actually check that now. 
let's just kind of put some of the um we'll try and put some of the roofs the roofing in here so let's go this way put some of this down and let's try to find uh oh um let's try to find what animal we can put in this exhibit i think this is not what I wanted from you. I want you to be one over, and now that's gonna be really hard to do. All right, that worked. All right, because we gotta move all of these now. And, oh my goodness, I hear, I hear baby, I don't know if it's uh, Cayman or if it's baby uh, Gariel's chirping um, in the background. All right, let's move all of these and make sure that they are in the right spot because we did have a little bit misaligned. I don't think the Garials have had babies or anything yet. Oh, hey, right as I say that, look what's happening. <laughs> there, we're gonna have baby Garials now, too, and hopefully we have some some good genetic babies pretty quickly here, um, because uh, otherwise we're gonna end up with a ton of them, and that's gonna be a problem. Oh, Arya's gonna have uh, babies, so we're gonna have baby Garials as well. That's gonna be fun, but also possibly quite a lot. Uh, we really gotta get in some more exhibits so that we can start having um, people maybe uh, donating a little bit more. So hopefully that'll help. So let's make sure we mark, not the tree, I wanna mark the group. Um, front reptile house. Uh, and now let's go ahead, I'm going to uh, uh, pause here for a little bit. Yeah, they do sound like little laser guns. They kind of do this ah, 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 noise, and it does sound like the, the pew 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 of a laser gun in many ways. Um, so let's see. I don't think it was I don't think it was birds. So I'm gonna pause real fast too because I want to make sure we didn't have too many of them removed. We didn't have them. No, we didn't have them removed from here. And okay, because so, all the babies are still here. I don't know how close some of them are to growing up. Some of them may be somewhat. If I look at, let's look at, I think Ludmilla is one of the earlier ones, so let's see how old she is be. Okay, 6.8, 4.3, 4.1, that's one of the adults, um, 2.2, so it takes them until about 10 years to grow up, I think, so we've got a little bit left yet, 6.8, so probably three more years till any of the babies grow up, and that's gonna be a little bit. Uh, that's kind of a problem. You kind of maybe want something that um, grows up more quickly and when you're starting your zoo. But let's look at the exhibit animal market. So I'm going to call this a reptile house. So let's look mostly at uh, reptiles. And we'll maybe have an insect house somewhere else. Let's see. We want to be kind of careful. All of these are for money, which is okay. We can get boa constrictors, possibly. I do see we have a bronze boa constrictor here. I don't know. We've got a bronze eastern brown snake as well. Um, got those are more insects, though. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of golds on the um, <laughs> on the uh, the insects. It seems like. But let's maybe start with a bronze animal. Yeah, snakes are cool. Oh, we do have a we do have a gold animal here, but that's um all right, let's uh, you know what we're gonna start with. Uh, let's let, let's look in the Zoopedia first. Um and then if so, yellow anaconda will maybe start with this. So species data They live 20 years, wow. Um and we don't have any research done on them yet. So I think, you know, I mean, it seems like probably pretty easy, um, one to two, so yeah. Let's go ahead and we'll go and look at the, um, or, no, I don't want, I want, ah, animal market, I want the animal market. <laughs> I want, no, oh, there's, exhibit trading is totally different, alright, let's go ahead and we'll, go ahead and we will adopt Lewis. We'll go ahead and send to zoo and we can put in here. I don't think these guys get sick, but what we want to do is we want to look at, all right, so yellow anaconda exhibit. And then let's pause because we got to see what its ideal hum humidity is. So 21 um, needs to be a little bit higher. So let's go up to 24 and humidity needs to be a lot higher. So let's go over here and that should be a little bit better. And we want to make sure that we put in some um, donation boxes too. Okay, humidity is good. Temperature is not. Okay, maybe not quite to 90. Let's go to like 88. There we go. Exhibit has no keepers assigned a free visit. So we definitely want to assign a keeper 
Um, oh, okay. Mm, let's, let's try and set some of this up. I don't have it working quite right yet. Thought maybe I did. All right, let's remove that. Let's go like this. And then we can do that. Um, let's see. I want to make sure, because I think maybe we need to... If I do this... Nope. Uh, so we actually can't necessarily connect. Uh, what is it saying? Oh no, it's just uh, it's just the work zone setup. So what we need to do then is we need to add this to our work zone. Not heat maps. Zoo... Um, where is work zone? I'd be under staff. So let's go ahead, front gate right. We edit the work zone. Yeah, that's the correct one. Let's go ahead and we'll put this one in. And that should be pretty good, I think, then. So that should fix those, right? Yes. Low on, wait. Why is facility inaccessible? Why, hello? If I move? Is the talk point accessible now? I guess not. I guess... I guess that works. Alright. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I guess it works. Let's also go ahead and we will add um, some of the walls here, just because I noticed those are missing. And we'll go up here. And there we go. That should work. So eventually I want all of these to be exhibits. Um, oh, and we need donation boxes. Let's go ahead and add some of those in. We go to facilities. We go to guest facilities, right? I would think. No. Um, bins, benches, and security. That's not it. It is guest security. Uh, guest facilities. So let's go ahead. We'll put a donation box right in this corner. And we'll put some on the inside, too. We'll just have to put in actual exhibits in here at some point. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. And it looks like we've got people who are coming to visit. So that's good. People are coming to look. Um, we are now in negative money again, so hopefully people start donating <laughs> because we are having a problem. So how are we doing on our research? Let's let's check that. So if we look at mechanic research, we are not researching anything with our mechanics. And these guys have finished researching the Caymans, so we should definitely go ahead and start researching something else. Uh, let's look at... Let's research new world theme, but I also want to make sure... Okay, we, we finished researching barriers. Um, let's go ahead and we'll research... I will research the aquatic theme as well. Um, yeah, we have to, we definitely have to make sure that we release them because if the group mechanics are off when the juveniles grow up, they will start to fight and we do not want that. So, let's save the zoo. We might have to turn down... Uh, I'm gonna ha- because our Gariel- or our Caymans are doing really well, but I think... Well... Man, I don't- I don't know what to do necessarily. It's kind of difficult. Oh, hello, consider the coconut. Welcome back. I remember you from previous streams. Alright, um, oh man, our finances are really shot at the moment. This is- this is not good. Alright, our people... Nah, you're good. You're good. No worries. Um, I hope people will donate. I do not know if they will. Our money is going up a little bit at least. Oh, no, maybe it's not. <laughs> um, okay, we gotta do something to change this. So let's look at... We might have to bring the staff stuff down again. I'm gonna drop the food quality for the Caymans because I think overall they're doing quite well. Yeah, so we're gonna turn back to grade one food and we're going to have to drop some staff um, payment again a little bit. Let's go back to 900. Hopefully we will eventually get out of this and it'll be back a little bit uh, a little bit easier. But for now, until we can do that, we need, uh, we, we need to get our finances up before we get ourselves into real problems. <laughs> Thank you, Games All Day. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have... Once we have money again, we'll try working with the river otters. But at the moment, we do not. Um, and so, let's go and put that in. I know they're not going to be happy. And I, mm, we're, we're just not having enough income, which is a problem. <laughs> Alright, hopefully people do start donating soon. No worries, games all day. We'll, we'll still be here. We're going to be here for a bit yet. Um... 
We might need to put in... Wow, it's still going down. Um, yeah, that's that's true. Um, guests may have to be popping in and out today. We'll see. All right, I think our money is going up again if I do this. I really hope it is because otherwise... We're, okay, I think, yeah, it's starting to go back up. Um, and I hope people start donating, but they are not. So I think we need to put, like, education boards in. Um, uh-oh. What? Where is this? Um, the workshop. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got... Oh, and Arya's about to have offspring. Uh-oh. Um, overall... Pro okay, wait. What was happening? Guest numbers. Oh, we get... Oh, we get a thousand for that, at least. That's something. But let's go ahead and look at Arya, because uh, she is about to have offspring, apparently. And so we'll go watch... We'll go watch her. So I'm thankful it's going back up. But yeah, like, look at this. Look at the size difference. I did not realize this was going to be a thing. Like, my gosh. <laughs> I did not know that was a thing. Oh, is she gonna go in the bush? Um, no, she's gonna go right here. All right, we're gonna have baby Gariels, so we will take a look once we have the uh, the babies. Once she's had the babies, oh, she's eating right now. Um, but once she's had the baby, we'll take a look at their genetics because hopefully we'll be able to get some pretty good ones and uh, continue the Gariel breeding line. And if we have good ones right off the bat, then I'm going to stop her from having more because we are going to have a problem if she does. Um, we have way too many babies, as fun as they are. We have so many Cayman babies, and I don't want the same thing to happen with the Gariels when we can barely afford the zoo uh, as, as normal. Are you going to have your babies? I don't think she's had her babies. All right, so I don't... Apparently the talk point was inaccessible too, and hopefully it's not anymore, but we'll see. So, all right, welcome back. We are waiting for Arya or Gariel to have her baby. So oh, there we go, we have a baby Gariel. Look at this, little baby, two little babies. Oh my goodness, two little babies. Wow, three babies, uh-oh. <laughs> Gariels can grow up to 16 feet, holy cow. Four babies, oh my gosh. Uh, wow. Well, okay then. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pause. We're gonna take a brief look at these five babies. What? <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Six babies. What's happening? What's happening? How many are there going to be? Oh. My. Word. Um. <laughs> Is that, am I counting right? Eight? No, seven. Seven babies. Seven babies. Holy cow. I was not prepared. All right, we've got bronze. Okay, so let's look at the parents. We've got Arya. Um, why is her social, moderate social welfare? Let's look at that. Let's look at what's going on here. Um, oh, ah, because of all the juveniles. Okay, well, that's going to be something that's difficult. we got to add a little bit more rock as well, which we probably can't do because that costs money, so never mind. Um, let's, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah, baby Gary. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's about right. My gosh. Uh, what I wanted to do was look at genetics so we can pair mates. Let's look here. So we're looking for... Maximum fertility, maximum immunity, about 70% longevity, and about 80% size. So let's take a look at the babies. Um, if we look at Manya here, if we want to look at genetics. So hers are definitely not. 100%, um, that's pretty good. Ab Abhimanyu, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Pranav, not so much. Um, I want to click the baby. Let me click the baby, please. Oh, I'm clicking the plant because of that. Let's look at some, let's look at them from here, maybe. Um, so we've seen. All right, Drew Drew is over here. Let's see. Oh, we got a gold star. That's pretty good. That's good longevity and good immunity. So so far, Drew is the, our best uh, Gariel. Uh, Got to remember that. Let's look at animals. So let's see. Ananya. Let's go ahead and look at... I want to see... Uh-oh, it won't actually let me click her, will it, though? She's the one who's gone in here. Can I click her? No, I cannot. Alright, uh, we can't look at Ananya right now. Um... <laughs> on the seventh day of Christmas, <laughs> Planet Zoo came to chase seven baby carriers. Yep, 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 that's, that's exactly what it did. 
and we're gonna have a problem because we do not have that much money. <laughs> all right, Vihan, and yeah, they they all just went right in the bushes. We do not have the money for this. Um, we gotta let them go through. This is okay. It's still going up, thankfully, but um, yeah, this is. Very insane. All right, now let's take a look. Can I see them? I can see some of them. Let's look at Manya. Manya's genetics are decent. No, and I can't click the babies that are going this way. Oh my word. How long does it take a Gariel to grow up? I'm not actually sure. Okay, these guys are going to come out in a minute. Um, if I look at this, uh, it's going to be a while, ain't it? <laughs> Um, so we've also got Ananya. Ananya has good genetics, okay. Um, overall pretty good, but not as good. And Vihan. So I think between Vihan and... What is this? Low on cash, yes. We are. <laughs> um, oh, we've got two research levels, that's good. Um, let me see. So I think between Vahan and it was, um, which one was it? It was Druv, or Druv, Druv, Druv? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I think overall, hmm, 3825 versus, let's see, 3825. So I think Druv is the one we want to keep. And I'm going to um, not let them have more babies because, my gosh, what? <laughs> uh, so it, we will um, we will prevent them from having more babies um, because we have too many, too many, many babies. Uh, and so I think overall, Druv's genes are pretty good. They might be slightly less than um, his mom's, so maybe we'll try to breed them again at some point. But, um, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, the way they walk is quite funny. Um, you can keep all the females when they grow, and not, but not male. Maybe, but I want to try to keep our numbers down as a whole anyway. Um, oh, and thank you, I'm glad you love when I stream. But yeah, do they move like seals? That's interesting, if they move like seals in real life. Oh, we've gotten some donations. So if we get our money back into the positive here, which it looks like we're going to, um, then, oh, it's, it's flickering. But I think what we can do is we can put in Inspector is left. Education is getting better. better. The Garial exhibit is a little bit subpar, but overall not terrible. So that was good. Um, if I look at facilities here, let's go to education. Let's do an exhibit education board. I want to add it to this group and I want it to position snap rotation. We'll put one here and we'll put one here. And does this, this all has a uh, power still, right? I want to make sure that it does. Because we put education content, not you, sorry. I think that will help us get more donations, possibly. All right, so what have we got so far? We've got staff wrapping the queue to use the, yeah, the workshop. That's a problem a little bit. How is this exhibit doing? Barrier status, good. Barrier status could be better, so we'll call the uh, mechanic here. All right. Um, and hopefully some of our babies will grow up soon-ish. Um, and we will hopefully uh, help things get better, I think. Uh, so now that we're starting to have... Now that, now that we're starting to have more money, maybe what I'm going to do... I'm gonna take a bit of a risk, and I'm gonna, well, we don't have quite enough for it, but I wanna put in, like, a, a I wanna put in a chief beef and a, a sl slurpy place. Um, let's see. Let's look over here, because these are really popular. Actually, it looks busy, too expensive. Okay, so, uh, some people thought it was, okay. Let's maybe, because uh, I don't know how to keep it from being less busy. I think maybe we might need to train some of our uh, staff to be able to do things faster. Um, Alright, our money is starting to go up at least, which is good. And does that boost? I don't know if it has or not. So let's look at exhibit trading, because I do want to look at the yellow anaconda again. So we've got we've got a male, ana uh, male yellow anaconda, I think, right? Lewis, yes. 
So we want to look at females. If we look at, okay, none of these guys are particularly great. If we look here, what is the potential? Um, it could go all the way up to a hundred, but the, yeah, I think we want to look for some of the, I think we want to look for a different one. So that's okay if we leave Lewis alone for now. Um, now what I want to do, and we'll probably put bathrooms right here at some point, but what I want to do is now that we've got the $2,000 that we'll need, let's, let's go, let's do a little bit more. We'll wait a little bit until it goes up just a slight bit more because I want to be careful with how much, you know, actually, because people here, one of the things they complain about is that pe people say they're thirsty. Does this actually, huh? I don't know if this actually helps there. I would think it would help thirst, but maybe it doesn't. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, well, no, it went, it went way back down again. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait. <laughs> um, cause we started, we did not start a new month. Why is our, why are our finances suddenly going down? Hello? Hello? What happened? I don't know. I guess maybe it did start a new, a new month or something. I don't know why they suddenly went way back down. We don't have security guards, low on cash. Vet research is complete, at least. So let's go ahead and see. Do we have anything that we can do now to make the exhibit more interesting? Um, can go ahead and add some of these. And climate is good. Let's close... Not that window. This window. And we can do a 3D facade back there. Yeah, when we add, add timber wolves, it's going to be fun. I'm definitely looking forward to that. But that might be just a little bit. How are we doing on donations here? There we go. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let's do... Um, what did we call this one? We called it Front Reptile House? Yeah. Front Reptile House Shops. All right. And then what I want to do is edit this and what we're gonna do is we will put in probably a drink shop first people this may make people have to go to the bathroom <laughs> I hope it doesn't so let's see um oh my goodness yeah <laughs> yeah we're gonna add river otters next um I'm gonna add a gulpy soda and we're gonna hope that this is not a problem because I am going to add, uh, around this, we will add the wall there. And then what I'm going to do is we got to include, not heat map, we got to include this in our, um, our work zone. So let's go ahead, front gate right, we'll edit this. We may have to eventually add more staff buildings. Um, and then let's look at our staff because we have... The educator, oh, educator should be front, uh, front right. Maybe that was why the educator couldn't reach. That would make sense. All right, let's go ahead and go this way. And hopefully that'll start to draw some people in. All right, now I do want to make sure that we put some, uh, some trash cans around as well. If I look at, oh, we may not be able to afford them though. All right, oh no, we can afford them, we can afford them, that's fine. Let's go here. And we'll eventually, I would like to try to put a chief beef in there too, because cutie is the facility. I think it's the mechanic one, yeah, because we only have one of those. That's fine, it's fine. I don't, I don't mind if they have to queue for research purposes. Eventually we'll put in another one. That research is complete. We have researched another level for the yellow anaconda, which is good. Can we have four trash cans? Yeah, but okay, our money is going back up again. Our money is starting to go back up again. That research is complete again. Um, we're, we're working on it, you guys. We're working on it. We just have way too many babies. Um, <laughs> um, well, let's see. A VIP guest. Oh, we want to make sure we say hi to the VIP guest. Um, let's see. Alright, let me go over here. We will visit. It's start of year 10, that's true. Oh, hey, wow. Um, now let's take a look here because I think... It's busy. Uh, how do we fix the busyness, though? All right, let's look at... I'm going to maybe hire... 
another... Let's hire another, um... I'm gonna hire another vendor. We're gonna put another vendor in this zone, and we're gonna train one of the ones that we have. So let's go... So you will be in the left zone. Let's see. Um... Front gate left zone. And then I'm gonna train one of the vendors in this zone if we go to zoo. If we can even afford it, because maybe we can't. <laughs> Rise... <laughs> yeah, raise the prices a bit. Maybe so, because... Uh, they are quite busy. I think we'll go ahead and do that. So let's bump this up to like seven, seven, seven. As long as they're not complaining about the prices, we probably can bump them up. Let's look here. Everything is too expensive. So this one they might need to go back down. Well, we'll leave those where they're at. Let's see. Okay, it's busy, but the prices are fine. So let's go to 10 and we'll go to five. All right, um, condiments. Oh, you can change what condiments, but I don't know if that'll actually help or not. So let's see. All right, we're starting to go up a little bit more. So now what I want to do is I want to look at what of our, what are our um, vendors, we can train some of them. Let's see. Better trained staff will perform better. I think that'll make help with the um, difficulty in having. Um, okay, let's train. Let's train Litha Horwood because she's commuting right now. She's walking around. Um, but that'll help with the busyness, I think. All right, we've got. Did we get a reward? Hello. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, we haven't. Uh, we haven't. Oh, okay, that's what that. That's right. There's challenges going on. I forgot about the challenges. We haven't had much chance to really participate in anything yet. Um, but maybe we'll get to release some of the um, some of the aquatic animals. If the caimans reach adulthood, we might release some of them. So we're starting to go up again. That's good to see. And I think we've got 300 people coming in and out of the zoo, which is pretty good, honestly. Um, how are we doing here? Inspector in five months. We are seeing some donations, but not a whole lot. Hopefully, we can still... Okay, let's look at vet research. We've got more for the yellow anaconda. So let's take a look and see if there's anything else we can add for enrichment. All right, layout isn't quite so great. Okay, we can add some of these. Layout is up to 80%. All right, what is going on? Low on cash, yes. Ah! Oh, maybe that, that, that probably does cost money to put in. That's probably why it keeps dropping suddenly. Um, but it should go back up after that because I don't think it costs ages... Or like, I don't think it, it's a recurring cost. Um, ee, we made it to year 10, too! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Workshop, alright, it's just... No security guards, that's fine, that's fine. Spectre in three months, that should be fine. But now that we've got 2,000, I'm going to open up another shop here. Let's edit this, um, and we'll go ahead, we'll put in facilities, thank you, uh, we will put in a chief beef, go ahead and put that right here, huh, I guess we'll put that like that, <laughs> um, hmm, interesting, let's go ahead and we will put in the wall and hopefully... No, uh, yeah, that was right. Okay, so what we gotta do then, um, because I made a little bit of a boo-boo with how I place things, we got- that one's a little lower! <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, rip. Um, I guess this is how it is now then. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will do that. We'll make sure we add that to the proper, um, to the proper work zone here. Let's go back to staff, we'll go to work zone, so front gate right. Let's go ahead, we'll put this one in. And we should do that. And we should be good, right? Um, if you have to pay. <laughs> oh no! I mean, we would have money, but I'm not sure that's the, the kind of money that we want. Uh, maybe, maybe not so much. <laughs> oh my goodness, unfortunately there is no grant robbery mechanics. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That is true. Alright, I think... Let's see. It's so far... Okay, this... Holy moly. 
Oh, it was because they don't like it because it was busy, but holy moly, we've already earned like 700 from that. That's pretty insane. Something to consider for the next update. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rob Banks to support your zoo. <laughs> oh my word. All right. Um, that research is complete. Nice. All right. We got the last research level there. Let's have somebody start researching illnesses just in case we encounter any. Um, let's slow down a little bit because I do want to add in a little bit more. Um, I don't know if this necessarily costs money. I would think it probably would, but okay, um, we'll see. Let's also- lock picking squirrels, oh my goodness. Let's also look at the exhibit trading again. We'll take a look at- I want to look at just the yellow anacondas and we'll see if there's any new ones. I don't know if there are or not. Are there not? There may not be. We refresh the list? No, there's none currently. So we'll see if there's ever any new ones in here that we could potentially add in. But for now, not so much. Um, let's see. There's squirrels in this? I don't know if there's squirrels in this game or not, actually. I'm not too sure. But let's see here. So I think... We're getting, we're getting some donations, which is pretty good. Um... Oh, I didn't know they didn't have squirrels in Hawaii. I mean, I've been to Hawaii a handful of times, but, like, I didn't know that they didn't have, um... I didn't know that they, they didn't have that, um... Alright, I'm gonna- sorry, I'm gonna name these things. Let's see. Front, reptiles, chief beef. Alright. Research management. Let's see what we've got. We got some aquatic uh, animal research going on here. And yeah, people do need bathrooms here. <laughs> we have a zoo in Hawaii. You could probably include squirrels. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting. Yeah, that, that would be very interesting. That's not typically what you think of when you think of a, a zoo. Oh, the inspector has arrived. Uh-oh. I hope that we are not, um, not seeing problems with trash. I don't think we are. Um, but it looks like we've got an inspector here again. Let's see, I think what I'll do is um, we'll go ahead and we will add uh, a gift shop here as well. So let's edit this. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put, well first let's put the um, the gift shop in. Where is this? We'll put Looney Bloons in. This is, uh, this is a good, good shop to have. And then I think I need to remove this if we go here. We'll figure out where the um, uh, the front thing needs to go, which I think is right here, it looks like. And then we'll put in another little thing right there. That works. That should work. All right. And then we'll go back to resume here, and hopefully this will start to um, start to bring the finances up. House. That works. And if we go here, if we go to prices, my gosh, that's a lot for a balloon. All right, let's turn these all way down. Um, stand for having the cute. Yeah, we we need another workshop. Is what's going on here. Um, and we want to make sure that these are a little cheaper. So let's go with this, and we'll synchronize the costs. Um, let's see, where is, so, how are the barriers doing too? This one needs mechanic, this one also needs mechanic, um, we'll try to make sure that they do that, and, um, let's see, <laughs> I, wow, we have a lot, oh my gosh, alright, we do need to put in bathrooms over here probably too. I'm not gonna charge people to use the bathrooms. That is a thing you can do. This is not a thing I'm going to do. Let's look at their inspector report. Pretty good overall. At least the the cleanliness is doing well. Um, we will put in some. Uh, <laughs> we will put in some uh, bathrooms right here. I think though. So let's go to facilities. Can I include bathrooms? I cannot afford them. So we will have to uh, wait a little bit to build a new bathroom. But we really, I think, gotta get, yeah, charging for bathrooms is nefarious. Um, we really gotta get the otters in, I think. We just need more income to be able to do, do that. Hello? I, I have sufficient funds to build toilet block now? Yes? There. 
All right, um, let's make sure we put this in pretty straight, like this. Hello? Can I place there? Oh, I can place there, okay. Looked like it wasn't gonna let me for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and save, though. Let me make sure to do that, and we will um, add just this little building for this right now. I have to go somewhere and try, <laughs> and try to charge me for using the bathroom I'm peeing on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, at that point, that's probably what what's deserved. Oh, we went... Okay, we... Why are we so far down in, in finances? I guess we can add a skin to that soon, but... Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, uh, can't find an accessible research center. Hello? Okay. I don't totally know what's up with that. Uh, we need more we need more trash bins, don't we? Because I do see people starting to litter. Why are people littering? There were trash bins for you back there and you didn't take them, my goodness. Ah uh, Well, at least our money is going up, but yeah, no, like places that charge you to use the bathroom. I, I guess the one time I can understand that is if you're having like problems with people doing dumb stuff and messing up the bathroom. And it thus by charging someone to use the bathroom they'd be paying just to screw around. Um, but that's, like, the only time that I can see. Okay, people are littering, like, everywhere, so we need to put some bins in now that we can afford them. Um, bins, benches, and security. I don't know why this zoo in particular is giving me so much financial trouble, but it is. Um, we probably need another cleaning person, too. Another maintenance, or, not maintenance, no. Maintenance is different. Um... Facility is too busy. How do we fix that, though, is the problem. All right, let's... Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Um, cat, tile, house, bathrooms. All right. Front gate bathrooms left, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, that's... I can understand that, but... Yeah, um... Yeah, sanitation. Caretaker is what the game calls them. I had forgotten what they were what they were called. It might be better to have them not be assigned to a work zone, to be honest. Well, maybe I should assign to a work zone, because I think we need um, the staff uh, the staff room to be assigned there. So we gotta put in more bath or more um, more bins as well because there's like they're overflowing. They're they're absolutely overflowing. So let's put let's put some bins over here maybe. Um, do that and then um, I've got aquatic picnic benches, kind of cool looking. Let's see, if I go to construction, though, I can put an outer shell on these bathrooms, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, we'll do this, and then we will rotate this. Just want the bathrooms to look nice. We can go ahead and do this, and then if we go here, they'll look a little bit nicer. Eventually, I want to reskin all this to look um, a little bit better even than this. But, uh, for now, this works just fine. So, two meter E, this is what we want. Alright, let's go over here. And we'll go over here. And now our bathrooms look a little bit better. Um, front reptile house bathrooms. Alright. How are people feeling about everything? Um, looks too busy, needs a bathroom. Prices are great, they have blue- Oh no, I popped someone's balloon! I didn't mean to do that! No! Oh, that was a problem. Okay, we've got a VIP guest. Uh, let's go ahead and say hello. That gives us conservation credits. And, um... We should be able to start training some staff, I think. So if I go to zoo... Let's start... Hmm... Alright, let's see. Um... I'll start slowly training the staff here, I think. Alright, room that kid's stay. Yeah, it was an accident. I forgot that was even a feature. Yeah, you can pop people's balloons if you click on them. I didn't remember that was a thing until I accidentally clicked one, and then I felt sad. <laughs> Alright, let's go to add some more trash cans, because people are littering everywhere. Um, but I think this will start to help. And I think, let's look at exhibit trading. I want to see, we've got a couple we can't afford yet, but let's look at, if we compare mates, longevity is good. 
So actually, uh, Felicia Dodd would probably be a good mate for Lewis. So as long as she sticks around in the trading center, we may try and purchase her and put her in the zoo here. So let's go ahead and we will do that, I think, if we can afford. There we go, send to zoo. We'll put you in here. And it's gonna cost a little bit more, but I think that'll help because we can also start breeding. And these guys tend to have a little bit of a um, faster turnaround, I think, for, um, for uh, for being able to breed, and you can actually kind of you can sell some of them, which can be a good thing, I think. So if we look here uh, and we look at compare mates, because I think actually, yeah, they've got pretty good. Uh, I didn't quarantine because I, I, if I remember correctly, you don't have to quarantine the um, exhibit animals. So yeah, I think we should be fine. <laughs> I don't. I think it's only the ones in the uh, the larger exhibits that can get sick, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm mistaken, we're going to find out, and we're going to have problems, and it's not going to be a fun time. <laughs> oh, the some of these are not currently open. Uh oh, um, are we doing all right on money? Uh, why did it take away so much money all at once? I like that it doesn't just immediately eat you if you go below finance-wise, but like heckin' dang. Um, all right, let's go over here, and I'm going to increase the zoo price again. So, because that should help overall. It's a, oh, it's a new month. Yep, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I like that it just doesn't immediately yeet you into the void if you uh, go below zero finances, but yeah. It's funny because you don't even have to go to a zoo to see these reptiles. I live in Florida. Oh man, yeah, Florida's got some uh, some fun creatures there. Uh oh, maintenance people, please clean the, the area before the inspector gets here. I know you're working on it, but thank you. Alright, hopefully, like, I can't even do anything about it. Um, thankfully, I think we're starting to see people be okay with the, the higher prices. Um, we're getting there. We got, you got, like, monitor lizards now. Wow. Yeah, we don't have a huge amount of wildlife where I am. We just have really hot weather. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's a little bit intimidating for sure. Alright, um, staff are having the cutie- which- which facility? Can't find an accessible res- oh, she's just resting for now, though. Um, we gotta put this back in eventually. Also, what does our power look like? Florida- yeah, Florida is the Australi Australia of North America, honestly. Um, not to put your power. Okay, so we're gonna have to put a power station in here soon, too. Did people repair the exhibits, too? Oh, I want it- I do want it to keep playing. Yeah, people have repaired the barriers recently. Let's call the mechanics to each of them. And I think, instead of killer spiders, we have killer snakes. Yeah! Yeah! Um, Alright, how are we doing with these guys? 6.9. I think we've got some that are even older than that. If I look here... Oh, some of them are swimming. Some of them are swimming. Let's go here. We've got Ludmila. Oh, okay, so our first juveniles are getting pretty old, so we'll be able to sell some of them soon, I think, which should help. Not that I want to make most of our profit off of selling animals, but, like, we're, we are running rather low on finances. We do need to do something. Um, but it's definitely going to help a lot once some of the gharials, uh, can, 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 or not some of the gharials, but the caimans can be sold. Uh, you know what I want because I am annoyed at the moment? We are going to put lights in because we need lights. Um, aquatic lampposts? Let's just put normal street lamps for now. Put one right here. Because, okay, Inspector has left. I just want to be able to see what in the heck is going on. So we'll put some of these around the zoo. Because I can't see anything. Oh, I hear the uh, Caymans chirping. I do hear some of them. Alright, let's turn this like this. Put one here. Put one here. Put one here. Just want to be able to see what's happening. So we're gonna start putting some lights around here. All right. Uh, what was the latest inspection report? Can you see that from the zoo somewhere? Let's see, uh, zoo overview, latest report, there we go. All right, education could still be better, but it's getting there at least a little bit. Um, and we are up to 4,000, so that's good. Uh, and we're starting to, I'll put more lighting in later. 
And uh, I think we're starting to get to be in a better spot. All right, so we've got more donations this time, which is good. Um, how are these two doing? I don't think, oh, she is expecting offspring. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this can get wildly out of hand very, very fast. So we really need to, um, actually, I'm going to mark these guys so I don't lose them. Um, we'll mark them with an O for original. Uh, so we can tell which our original pair is because the breeding for the exhibit animals can get wild very quickly. <laughs> um, so we'll mark them both with an O so that we know that they are the original ones. Yep, baby snakes do 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 pretty soon. I don't know how soon, but pretty soon, probably. If we look at expecting offspring, yeah, it's not going to tell us when, but um, that'll help, I think. All right. So, how are we doing over here? I think... Refreshing drinks. Okay, so it does count as uh, drinks. Okay, people are starting to like the prices. It's kind of... Kind of right on the edge of for the prices, I think. So, maybe we'll turn the umbrellas down to 3 point, or 350 each. And that should help. Oops. And I think that'll be helpful. And what I want to do is probably train another, um, another, if we have any other, um, of our, our vendors, we'll probably start training some of them. And so let's see if any of them, where are our vendors? Not down here. Um, you are getting training. Waiting, okay, somebody who's waiting, maybe. Let's see, oh, you've got no work zone, where are you? You're over here. You need to be front right. And you probably also need to be front right. Alright. There we go. Now, let's see. I'm gonna add another uh, one. Okay, we can probably start bumping some of our... Um, we can probably start bumping some of our staff wages back up because I feel bad for continuing to have to turn them down. Let's go ahead and... Let's put you on front gate right zone, and then we can start to train them as well. Now, I'm going to bump some of the uh, some of them up a little bit, so let's go to 2.3. Uh, no, not one. That's not what I wanted. Good night. Uh, two. Oh, okay. I hit, yeah, I didn't hit the zero is what happened. No, hang on. Let's go up here. All right, there we go, to the educator, that's a better salary. I'm gonna start to bump some of them up. All right. Oh my goodness, that is a, that is an interesting coincidence that you keep dreaming about the different fictional otters. All right, let's go here. Um, oh my goodness. I don't actually know a huge number of otter characters. Like, they were the ones from Zootopia. I do remember them. But I'm not super familiar with a lot of them. They seem to be less common than some other kinds of uh, animal characters, perhaps. Not totally sure. But yeah, the, the giant otters can be pretty scary, honestly. Alright, did I miss... If we look here, they did have a baby. All right, let's look at genetics really bad. <laughs> All right, so when... Um, when she grows up, we are going to sell her, probably because, um, or release, but I'm not sure which. Um, but, uh, yeah, really bad genetics overall. We, what we're looking for, again, I'll take a look at these guys so we can see. Let's look at our original pairing, and if we compare mates, we can see, um, I... Was that even supposed to go that low? I don't even know if it was, I think it was, well, oh, it was fertility that went really low. But um, we wanted to see something closer. It, we want to see 100 longevity and um, something closer in the, uh, or something higher, on the higher end of the fertility side of things, basically. So, and we, oh, what I really want to do is make sure that immediately we do that. Actually, we can move, can we, here, like, let's see, send, Send animal storage in the trade center. Can we sell immediately? We might actually be able to do that. All right, let's see. If I go to exhibit animal storage, uh, we can we can quick trade. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and we'll do that. So we'll quick trade because we are not keeping her because um, she ended up with really really low fertility. All right. Um, 
Oh my gosh. I didn't know there was an otter that had attacked people. I mean, I guess any animal probably can under the right circumstances, but I was not aware of that story. Um, let's go ahead and claim this because we earned a yearly profit of 8,000. Yay. Okay. So I think we're finally starting to go back up in profits. Now, when, one thing that I do want to look at is if we can add um, a large keeper hut somewhere up here because I might want to just try to make the keeper hut a little bit more self-sufficient, or the, um, not the keeper hut, the, the reptile house a little more self-sufficient, like have just dedicated keepers for the uh, keeper hut. So if I go here, let's open our heat map of, let's see, negative impact on guests. If I were to put this up here, would it have a negative impact? It would. They would see that. Okay, darn it. Can I reduce that at all? I might be. You might be able to reduce that by scenery, though, um, because I think you might be able to shrink it down. So we'll see. I might. Maybe I could put a smaller one, though. Maybe we could do two small ones. And if I went up here, then yeah, okay, these wouldn't have a negative impact. And if I put, I want to see a staff room as well. What is this? A large quarantine. Oh, okay. I put that here. If we go like right here, I could put in a staff room up here. Actually, could it be able? Would be able to fit a staff room, and I would be able to fit a small keeper hut. It looks like. So let's turn this around. And I think that should not impact the guests going in and out. Okay, so that's really good to see. Because then what we can do... Um, and we are low on cash once again. Not quite as badly as we were, but uh, still pretty badly. Or still somewhat, at least. Let's go ahead and do front reptile house staff room. And uh, we'll go over here. Front reptile house keeper hut. And what I want to make sure we do is we'll go through and we will put in somewhere under here. Um, we'll put in like a floor so that they can't just see up here. Yeah, we are. We're always constantly towing the line of bankruptcy. That's just kind of how we're vibing today. Um, let's do flat roofs and floors because we should be able to do. Well, I guess we can. Is there breeze? Oh, there's breeze block. Okay. Let's add to this. Let's go like right here. Make sure that we are adding it in the right spot. Go here. Go here. All right, because we don't want people to see this up here, of course. So we're just going to kind of place this floor in. And we should have like a nice little... I don't know what we could put back here. I don't know, maybe we could move. Oh, you know what we could do? I know how we could go about this, perhaps, to make it a little bit better. Because it doesn't really matter where we put them in here, right? So what we could do is we could actually have the windows on the front side and move the, um, the buildings from the back and have them just kind of lead out a little area here. So if I go to here, we can move this. We can put this right here. And then we can move this over here. Oops, somewhere. If I can actually see where we're putting it, like right there. Then we can move this and this. And I'm going to pause just for a little bit because I'm not super conscious of what's happening in the zoo. And I feel like that might not be a good thing. Uh, things may be happening that I'm not aware of. Um, just like college students. Yeah, college students are also kind of known for towing the line of, um, uh, of, of financial distress. <laughs> um, let's see, is there an ice cream truck in the game? You know, I don't know. I'm not sure that I've ever really seen one. Um, I'm not aware of one if there is. Maybe there's, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Oh, you know what we can do, actually? I just realized. I'm not aware of one if there is, but if I go to facilities, we could put, probably, we'll see, utilities, a power transformer. I want to look at negative impact on guests. If we put one up here, 
Okay, yeah, that definitely will. So we don't want to put one up there. We do want to put one somewhere around here, though. And possibly, if we go... Well, we're going to have to lead a path out of here anyway. So let's go there. Let's go... I want to, like... There we go. And I want to go all the way down. Uh, and I want to bring this... No, nope, not like that. Not like that. I want to bring this one to be flat. That is not flat. I want you just to go straight. And then we'll go down like this. And we can... Oops. That's not what I wanted. But now we can start going down. And now we can be on flat ground again. And... Well, maybe what we can do here is we can go like this and we'll go down here. And if we go like this, will this work? That will work, all right. And then if I were to put somewhere back here, if we go to our transformer, we look at negative impact on guests. And if I go right over, if I go back a little ways like this, that should be fine because the guests won't be anywhere near it. All right, um, and you know what else we can do? we could somewhere up here add a maintenance or another a workshop building because we have not had enough of those so let's go ahead we will add where is it there is a workshop here yeah i want it to go here do that and then if we look at paths should be able to do that there we go i'm gonna make sure i save this as well so now we've got like this nice little upper area <laughs> And um, this will be a nice place to put our, um, let's go here, we'll go ahead and we'll edit this as well, and I will put the space for the window. This will be a nice little place for us to put some of our buildings that we need to have here. And I don't think, if I go to facilities, what else might we need? There's not really anything else that will fit there, I don't think. Well, we could put a research center, possibly. If you go right like that, don't forget a hole in the wall, yeah. So the funny thing about this is they actually don't need a hole in the wall. They will legitimately just walk through. <laughs> um, but we do want to put, like, probably what we'll do is we'll make it at least look like there's something that they're able to walk through. Because um, we do want to kind of make it look normal-ish, even if it doesn't need to be. All right, so we'll do that. We will add in our construction here. Go ahead and add this, add these, and this will be a nice kind of structure, oops, to settle our, um, our reptile house specifically in. So that'll be good, I think. And then what we can do is we can put, I'm just going to put kind of a facade on these so that it's not so painfully evident that they are, um, there's nothing really going on here. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do this. At least when you, when they're walking in here, it doesn't look like it's just out of, out of nothing. <laughs> um, all right, am I gonna play Prehistoric Kingdom when it comes out? Yeah, I think that's what I've been planning on playing, and I'm not sure if I'll play it here on Twitch or on YouTube. That kind of depends on how the game ends up going, but I I do rem I am following that one, I think, and I do want to play it when it comes out. So, it's like playing a zoo with the dinosaurs. That does sound fun. Um, let's go to... Where would this be? Doors and windows, right here. So what we can do is we'll put this here, and this door does absolutely nothing but at least it'll look like it won't. So let's go here. All right. All right. Probably has other ancient animals. Yeah, <laughs> Crank would definitely love this. All right, would definitely love that one from what I've seen of it. Um, all right, let's make sure we put this down on the ground so that it looks really like it's supposed to be there. All right, that'll work. And I will not, I don't want to normally move it. I want to do this. And we'll do that. And we'll go on this one. And we will go like that, just about. And that should look better. 
All right, now it looks like they can actually go in and out, even though that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, it's it's something, it's something. And we've got our building windows there, which works, I think. Um, we should put the roof on this side of it as well, and finish off the roof on the um, on the other side or on the on the top as well. All right, let's make sure we select the right group to add it to. Go along here and go along here. Um, yeah, it, it does have other animals if I remember correctly. So I think what I want to do here too is I will actually add, first things first, let's kind of roof off the, um, the top here. Is this concrete breeze block? Okay. Let's kind of just add the part here to make it look like it has a roof. And we should put some lighting on the inside too, but I have not, I will, I'm not doing that just yet. All right, let's go over here. Let's go up this way, go there, and we'll go there. Now I'll put on the uh, upper walls. And so what I think I wanna do, that's concrete. We want breeze block. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead, we'll go like that. Go like this, go like this, go like this. Go like this, go like this. All the way around the edges here. Oh, and welcome to the new people who are joining the stream. I see a couple people have popped in. Hello, that's not what's supposed to happen. All right, I guess we gotta move these somehow. Wait, no, those are not the ones we wanna move, actually. We wanna be moving these side ones. We'll remove them and we will um, put in, we'll put in some ones that are actually uh, at the right height, like this. They went on top the, uh, the floors, it seems like. So let's go down by one, and we'll bring all of these down by one. And what we can do then is we'll put some of these ones right here. Uh, let's make sure actually first that we've got our slopes in properly. And we'll put these right here. And that way we can see how tall these need to be, which is great because it looks like they're lined up already. We'll do that. And then we need another two meter slope. We'll do this. Go ahead and we will put in some of these roofs as well. Oh, more new people joining in. Hello, welcome to the stream. We are just finishing up kind of putting the top on our uh, reptile house here. That's not where the roof goes. And uh, we're hopefully, I don't know if we're gonna get to the giant otter exhibit this time, but uh, we're, we're getting, getting closer to it. We probably will do it next time then. I was hoping we'd be able to finish both in this uh, episode, but because of all the trouble we had with uh, almost going bankrupt again, um, probably not. Now that we've got exhibit animals and exhibit trading though, I think that'll help because we can start putting in new species more easily because all you have is the initial upfront cost for the... Um, for the three the three thousand to put in the exhibit in the first place and then it'll also help because some of our like we had we had we had a couple baby booms but some of them are starting to grow up and so we'll be able to get rid of some of the extra juvenile animals that we have once they reach adulthood and then that'll make things easier because we'll uh not be paying as much to feed as many animals every single month um or i don't know if it's every single month but it's quite frequently uh, so yeah, that's definitely something we want uh, to uh, deal with as soon as we can. So it's kind of kind of good to have a bit of a break from working with the animals um, quite so freak or from from, ha from having from adding new species every time because apparently we picked a lot of the species that take a good while to reach adulthood. So we've had babies for literal in-game years, <laughs> uh, and that's been very difficult. All right, so let's do. Front Reptile House Workshop. All right, yep, whoops indeed. <laughs> so, and I do wanna make some of these look a little bit nicer soon too, but I haven't done that just yet. So let's make sure we adjust our work zones as well. I want to add in, so we'll go to work zones. I'm going to make uh, its own work zone Let's, let's go, let's do a new work zone. Let's do rep, oops, front reptile house. No staff room, but we're gonna have these. Um, oh, and that one shop isn't in a work zone. We wanna have this here. 
All right, let's do, let's make sure. I'm gonna, gonna click on the front uh, research center. Is this the research center? No. Okay, front reptile house research center. I, that does work. Okay, good. I was worried it was gonna be too long. So now what we should be able to do is I'm going to get a zookeeper. Uh, we're gonna have a keeper who's just specifically dedicated to the um, the reptile house. And uh, if we click on you, you should be able to go to the reptile house. Um, and then what I wanna do is I do wanna edit some of the other work zones because our mechanic, I think we want to include, um, is that it? That was not it, was it? No, that's the research center. Reptile house workshop, all right. And we want this to include the power and we want this to include here, uh, but we do not want it to include this anymore. So that should be good. What is this? That's the keeper hut. Wait, that should be in this one, right? Front gate keeper hut. Yeah, that's supposed to be in this zone. Oh, well, that's wild. And I don't, wait, oh, this is, yeah, I have the work zones mixed up. Okay, let's remove this. Do I? No, that was right. That was right. Okay. Um, so I don't want it in this one. These should not be in this work zone. Let's switch to front gate left. Did I? I think I mixed up which one, which zone I started working on eventually. Whoops, um, but that's okay. Front gate left, so it's the way you're coming into the zoo. Um, somehow I got confused in there, but it's okay. I think we got it sorted. So that's what's hard about right or left because it is, is it looking towards the gate or is it looking away from it? <laughs> When you name stuff with that, which direction does it go? Um, but we've got a zookeeper. Yep, we're low on cash. We've got zookeepers for this. If we look at our zoo and the work zone, um, where do we have? Let's see, so staff. So it should just be... We probably want to have a vet in here as well. So let's hire one vet. And we will include you in... The, uh, oh, we've got to do, so let's, hello, can I select you? I got, I got to do it from here, I think. So let's see, no work zone. We want the front gate reptile house, and I do want to look at that, um, work zone because we do not have the quarantine. No, that's the keeper hut. We want the quarant, we want, or that's the staff room. I, I'm selecting all the wrong things. Quarantine, uh, and the vet surgery, and that's the trade center. Let's do, I want to make sure we name the, okay, so Front Gate Trade Center. Let's name it that. Please tell me that saves, because I feel like it hasn't been saving. It seems like it did this time, though. <laughs> uh, so that's good, at least. And I think now we should be pretty good to go. We'll probably add a lower roof. But I think Vet Work Zone does not include a habitat. Hello? Does it... Do you not need vets for the other one? Maybe you don't. Uh, Planet Zoo be wax sometimes. It do be. It really do. Uh, if I look at the work zones... Oh, I guess, yeah, okay. So maybe we don't need any of the vet... Stuff. Well, I'll leave those included. But I'm gonna move the vet to... We'll move our vet to the front gate left, and then we'll train our other front gate left vet. Alright, staff are having to queue to use the facility. Oh, I wanted to add, so if we go to front left, let's go here. We will include the workshop as well, which is the reptile house workshop. Alright, and we want to make sure we call this the front gate transformer as well. Front gate transformer. And that should help with some of the issues of it, um, of, of the staff having to queue for the, uh, workshop. Oh, we've got some research complete. Nice. And we got vet research complete as well, which is great. Gariel, and we've got some, uh, research done on one of the, uh, one of the, il or one of the illnesses here. 
So let's go ahead and we will have some more of our vets research these. Oh, we ha okay, so we gotta be here for this because our one of our juveniles is about to mature and we are actually going to trade her out of the zoo when this happens because we have way too many babies and it's a little bit of a problem. But yeah, so, um, oh, you heading out? All right, catch you later. Thanks for coming games all day. Um, but yeah, so she's about to grow up and uh, when she does, we need to move her out mechanics. Hello. This glass is looking kind of cracked. <laughs> um, but we're going to move her out of the zoo because when she does mature, first of all, she's going to fight with her parents. Second of all, we are paying a lot to feed all these babies and so we need to trade some of them away. And she is not the one we're going to be keeping for the next generation. We're going to be keeping a different animal. Um, who I'm not sure where she is, but one of them we have here. I should also check, oh, that's a big heap of fish, that's what that is, um, but she's gonna grow up soon, the came in escape plan is coming to fruition, yeah, yep, yeah, yep yeah, it is, oh, look at this guy being totally happy, despite the ominously cracking glass, my goodness, I don't know when she's going to mature, though, it just told us she's going to, uh, is she gonna do that shortly, I've been lingering so we can see it, I'm not really sure. Nothing to worry about, the animals can't eat the guests. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, she's matured. Okay, wait, did she? Did she? Okay, so now she's, it says she's an adult. Oh, and Adair has also. So let's send animal storage in the trade center. Where is, that's not Adair, is it? No, that's our, our Cayman dad. Where is Adair? Because we have someone who is mature. We've got, only six juveniles, so let's see. There's a dirt. Let's go find him. Is it him here? Yep, we're going to send him to the trade center because, all right, we boxed both of them. It didn't actually show them grow up, which I'm kind of sad about, but we need to move them before they fight with their parents. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Let's also, wow, holy smokes. Yeah, this is why, because the food cost is insane. Look how much we're, we're feeding them grade one food. Look how much it costs to feed them. This is why we need to move them. <laughs> so we're gonna have to trade some of them away. Let's see, let's open our animal storage because I think we've got, we should have the two that we're not keeping. We have got Adair and Ludmila. We are probably going to, well, let, let's try, because what is the goal that we have here? I'm gonna pause this for a moment because we've got the challenge here, let's see. Um, silver rated semi-aquatic animals so there's no no real reason to uh, try and release for that I think we're going to trade price all right because you can oh wow okay so I want all right here let's hit cancel so it recommends we trade for 18 I guess we can do that. I would kind of rather trade for actual money, but I guess maybe not. Um, let's maybe quick trade. Well, you know, these are not, neither of these are super great animals, so I kind of don't want to release them. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and we will put them up for trade here. All right. And we'll see if we can actually trade them out. Let's see. There we go. So I think we'll see. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if it's actually going to be easy to trade them that way, but we'll see. If not, then we'll probably have to um, just trade, quick trade them. Um, it'll be easier to feed them if you get rid of the walls. <laughs> yeah, their food can walk right in to see them. And that'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong with that, I'm sure. All right. Oh, no, there's a balloon floating away. Somebody let go. Oh, welp. All right, now I want to check here because, okay, we do know they are not having more babies at the moment. Let's see. None of them are, like, super old or anything, are they? So, let's see. I don't think so, because we are at, all right, so that's adult, and if we look here, I want to look at our animals, I want to look at Lewis, and yeah, okay, so they, they've got a little bit left, <laughs> sad up, music plays, oh yeah, 
Um, can't find an accessible research. Alright, and we still have no security guards. Alright, without a free building, I can't do anything. Okay. Yeah, so we've got at least a better trained vet now. That's a red balloon. Oh! Yeah, a lot of them have wanted to buy the red balloons, but, um... It seems like mostly everyone is. Are those, like, cheaper than anything else or something? If I look at that... No, they're all the same price. We just sold mostly them. And I do not know why we are losing money again. Why is this a thing? Um, you know what? I think I might just cancel the trade on... Because I don't think we're going to sell our... Um... Oh, no. We've got trade history. Recent transactions. Oh, did they sell? I guess they did. All right. Wow. I guess they did sell. Huh. I did not expect that. Um, okay then, but we are losing money, it seems like. Why is this a thing? Okay, it's kind of going up and down a little bit. A little bit. I don't know. Alright, it's going up again. Good, 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 good. So I want to try to get, because we're probably, um, we don't have enough time to do the otter exhibit today. Um, oh, we've got, we got our, our conservation rating to four stars. Our conservation rating is four stars, I guess. Um, I do want to try and maybe place in another, um, oh man, our money is just fluctuating. Um, a zoo clown, oh my goodness. Um, I don't even know if that's a thing we can do or not, but it would definitely be an interesting thing. Are they watching through the wall? You know what? You do you. Um, <laughs> um, we probably could remove this arch, though. Let's go ahead and edit group. You know, we'll remove the archway, because then they can see it on all sides. Uh, VIP guest has arrived. Let's go ahead and say hello. And then, um, we got more vet research complete. Now, I want to add another exhibit, and I don't, we're not really able to do that just yet. So everybody is currently researching. Do we have, if we look here, are any of the others going to age up soon? Because I think... Alright, no, there's... Oh, they're still listed in the Trade Center, so maybe not. Um, how old are the other babies? Because we are running low on money again, and I think a lot of it is because we're having to feed these guys constantly. Um, let's see. Eight years. Six years. Six years. I could have sworn we had some that were uh, closer to adult than that. Let's reset the, um, the duck, because then the duck will float. Alright, um, and that is our adult. Okay. Inspector is left. Let's look at the report. Still about the same. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Our research is complete. We are kind of having a problem with, uh, with the finances still. I don't really know why, but I think probably, you know what, it probably is too. Alright, we gotta call our mechanic here. If we look at our animals... I guess the gharials aren't costing quite as much to feed yet, but we do have quite a few babies wandering around. We have seven gharial babies, for anyone who missed that. Um, and it's probably going to take them about ten years to reach adulthood as well. Um, hmm. Alright, let's hopefully... Hopefully we continue to go back up. I think slowly maybe we're making headway again. Let's see. Oh, he dumped those fish right on the heater. So I guess they'll have very warm, toasty fish. Nope, we've gone right da back down below again. Oh my goodness, why is it that we can't do this? Alright, I'm gonna try and bump up the zoo admission again a little bit, maybe? Well, no, maybe I don't want to do that. How are we looking at happiness with prices? Price, uh, some people still think it's too expensive. People think it's too busy. We are really losing money now. Ah, uh, refreshing drinks. No vendor, okay. Um, no vendor. Oh my goodness, do we have people in this work zone? What work zone is this? This is not work zone. Zoo. Alright, are the vendors just all taking a break at the same time? So let's see. Um, front gate right, front gate left, right, 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 right. Oh, okay, so a lot of them are front gate right. So let's go front gate left, front gate left, front gate left. 
going to transfer a lot of them because I think that's, if we look at left, that's the one those are in. That's why we're having problems. And that might be why our money is dropping so much too because the shops are closed half the time. All right, let's see. I think we're getting this sorted, maybe. Maybe not. Are we, are these guys, they are, oh, she is, in, <laughs> she is expecting again. Yeah, so we really have to keep an eye on the exhibit animals because they do tend to breed quite quickly. And if we're not keeping them, we definitely want to make sure that we are um, going to be uh, able to deal with the offspring. So let's see. Oh, and there we go. She had a baby, baby Teresa. Bronze rated at least, which is not great. Okay, so we're going to move her to the trade center because I think we're going to end up selling her too. Um, because, again, we're trying to... Uh, make sure that we breed for something that's pretty near maximum and we haven't seen that yet So I'm gonna quick trade her for 800. Wow. Well, at least that'll help with the finances a little bit but again if we look at um, our two that are here and we look at the um, The genetics possible here we can have uh, pretty much maximum longevity, but we really want um we really want to see very high fertility too, so ideally we see near like 90 to 100 percent longevity and about 80 percent, 70 to 80 percent for uh, fertility, which we have not seen yet. That is a very pricey noodle, yes. Um, helping helping save the zoo a little bit, uh, it seems like. So if I look at animal trading, and we look at oh, if we look at rewards, oh, we don't have any here. We go to animal market. Hmm. Oh, we could look at... I don't... Well, I don't see... So Alejandro is very expensive. I don't think we're ready to look at this yet, so... The ones that we have... Okay, they're not counting as stored, so we probably want to think more carefully about which ones we list in the future, because they're going to come back to storage eventually. Yeah, we do need a female anyway. <laughs> we already have Pablo, who is male. Um, and I don't remember what the group size is, but I don't think... Yeah, I, th I think Pablo is pretty decent uh, for a starting animal. Look at this huge man's! Look how huge he is! That's a big boy! Oh, and the babies are- wait, no, that's not one of the babies, that's one of the females, right? Yeah, that's Arya. It's like the babies are getting big. Nope, that's just the size difference between the male and the female, apparently. Look at this large man's! He's gonna eat right here. He's just chilling out. Look at him! Look how big he is! <laughs> He is gargantuan, and we are losing money yet again. Um, man, I don't know what to do about this. I don't know how to... Do we at least have all the shops open now? We do. Alright. Prices are great. No guest thoughts to show. Okay, we want to draw more more guests further into the zoo is the problem. Very big boy. Um, huh, how do we do this? At least one of any... Oh, I should have released the habitat species... Um, we've adopted... Oh, exhibit species. Yeah, okay. We haven't gotten an overall star rating inspection. Man, I don't know why this is so difficult. Why are we always just on the verge of bankruptcy? I, I don't understand this. This is a problem. Alright, guest happiness. I'm gonna increase the prices here because I think... Let's go ahead. Let's do eight. Because the guests aren't unhappy with the prices, but they are complaining about it being busy. So I don't know. We look here, what are the guests thinking? Prices are great. We look here, it's busy. I could probably boost the prices again. And let's go 12 and 6. That might help. I also am kind of waiting because I want to see if we look at our animals. We want to. Okay, where's Valentina? She's right here. 8.4. Could have sworn we had some that were 9. I thought we had some that were 9. I was sure we did. Maybe we do not. That's another... That's Callie. Nope, I guess we don't. Alright, then. Um, if the zoo is in America, this one's always... Ah, uh, yeah. Perhaps. Well, it's not in America, though. It's in Asia, so... I guess not, then. And we are waiting. Probably these guys will have more babies soon, I imagine, but... Um... Alright, we've got umbrellas, at least from when it uh, was raining, so maybe people bought umbrellas. Inspector arriving three months. The inspector is never noticing that we're perpetually in debt. 
Um, but yeah, what's really what's really killing us right now? Okay, oh, it's starting to go back down. I think because we had a lot of expense per feed for that, and that was causing us a big problem. So, uh, I really don't know how to fix this. I might have to bump down some wages again. Let's look at our finances, see what's costing us so much. We've got a lot, my gosh. Staff wages is a lot, animal food is a lot. Yeah, I think a lot of it is the staff wages, which as much as I hate to turn that down, I think we've got it. Nope, that's not, okay, 900 is the lowest, 200, 200, ah. <sighs> I want to pay them more, I just can't afford it. We need more animals. And we need, I think once we've got some of the babies, uh, once some of the babies have left the zoo, that may help us. But for now, we just need to get ourselves out of debt. And I kind of do want to try and see if we can have a new exhibit species soon here. Um, let's go to 50 for the ones that are a little bit more trained. Um, go ahead and do that. Because, man, this is just a constant, ongoing struggle. I don't know what's up with this zoo in particular. Usually I don't have such a hard time with it, but I don't really know why. But this time it's just been really difficult. Alright, let's do... Alright, that's fine. That's the lowest I can do anyway. Alright, that should help us. It's not going to make the staff super happy, but it should help, I think. Alright, mechanic research complete. Let's take a look at that. And we're getting there. What do we have here? No security guards. That's fine. Vet research is complete, though. Hopefully this will start to get us back into, um, into the green. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like it is going up. So what I want to do is I do want to add one more exhibit species right over here. We've got another inspector who's showing up. We are right back down to minus 2,000. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I don't, don't know why. Ah. We're not, well, we were, we were, but we aren't anymore. Yep, yep, I don't know what's going on. At least we're keeping it from dropping too much, but my goodness. Um, I don't know why this is such a difficulty. We're, we're getting closer, and, and the inspector report is ready to be viewed. It's about the same as ever. <laughs> there we go, we're starting to get into the positives, I think, but it's probably going to get yeeted again um, whenever we have to do another feeding. I hope we can try to get um, another exhibit in pretty soon, though, and maybe add another type of snake or lizard or something. Uh, but we gotta get all the way up to 3,000 for that. <laughs> so I'm going, we're gonna be wrapping up soon here, but I'm gonna just uh, wait a little bit longer and see if we can get that uh, set up here, because that'll help us, I think. That might bring some more people in. When you get the author put up a sign saying you'll let them loose if people don't donate. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that, that might incentivize a little bit. That that might, just a little bit. Oh my goodness, why are we having such a difficult time here? Year 14. So, we're probably getting close. 9.1. So yeah, some of them are um, getting a little bit older. Oh, look at, are we about, oh, we are. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at the, look at the caimans going for the food. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. But I think we, we do have some caimans who are going to be able to be released soon. Um, a lot of them are getting a little bit older. So at the very least, then I guess we just kind of wait for that to happen. <laughs> and that might help us a little bit here because we are, ah, why is this such a difficulty? I really don't understand. <laughs> Normally it's not this difficult. You thought it was a leg? Oh no! I mean, it could be a leg of something. It's just not not a not a person leg, at least. Look, it does look like some a leg of something, but maybe maybe a deer. Maybe maybe it's a deer. It's a deer. It's fine, I'm sure. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, inspector arriving in nine months. Starting to head towards the positives again, but it's gonna get probably yeeted again soon. Maybe it'll last, though. We've got 400 guests in the zoo, which is pretty good. So that's something. Maybe it, maybe it's staying a little bit higher. Maybe. Maybe we're getting there. Maybe we're starting to get there. Um, do the gharials... Okay, we gotta call the mechanic. Are the gharials... They're doing alright, I think. Um, oh no, there it went down quite a bit. But we are overall upward trend. <laughs> and I say that and then it, it yeets us once more. This is fine. Alright, um... Well... 
I think we're... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the Garials. Oh, we the snakes had another baby, though, so let's go ahead and look at the offspring there and see, because we might sell another snake then. Social health. Why is social health down? What is the social welfare issues? Let's look at... Let's look at... Are they... Did the baby already grow up? Or is it just... Social group... Oh, okay, yeah, because I see. Alright, so we gotta... We gotta take a look here. Once again, pretty bad genes. We're gonna go ahead and uh, move to the trading center, look at our exhibit trading, and we will take a look here, because I think that's not what I want to look at. I want to look at selling. We're gonna go ahead and quick trade, because... Again, not the greatest of um, not the greatest of genetics. That did help a little bit at least, but uh, I'm gonna probably go until we can at least trade off some of the caimans again because there we've got seven and we've got nine. So these guys are almost ready to age up. They do that at around ten, it seems like. All right, we've got an inspector arriving in five months, and I cannot click the baby. But I think that'll help us, hopefully. Habitat, uh, hello? Hello? Why? Why? Why is this so low? Is the mechanic not supposed to visit? Mechanic should be visiting? Why is this a problem? How- where is it? Mechanic, I'm gonna boost every three months, because my gosh, that was a, a little bit close. Let's boost this to every three months. Let's see here. Do we have a keeper in route? Or uh, not a keeper, a mechanic in route? We should. Yep, here he goes. He's running, he's running. Came in escape plan is a go. Yep, they're gonna bust out. They're breaking out, everybody. They are escaping. Uh, not quite. It's down to 16%, but we got our buddy here to fix it, and I think he's gonna start doing that. So, Inspector arriving in four months. You are going to fix this in time, are you not? I am growing concerned. Okay. <laughs> Came in escape plan is not a go. I am afraid. I have had to thwart it. But we're getting there. Inspector arriving in three months. Plot foiled. <laughs> yes, indeed, Rain. Plot has been foiled. All right, let's see. How soon? Valentina and Edvaldo are. No, that's just you. I want to see you. Kings and Girls, now all we need is crocodiles. We have Jurassic Park. Yep. Alright, these guys are going to age up soon, I think, uh, because they are at 10 years, and I think it was 10 years, 2 months that they aged up last time. So, once that happens, alright, let's look at our mechanic research. Once that happens, we will go ahead, oh, we need to set up new research here. I'm going to turn down the speed, because we want to do new mechanic research, staff. They never comment on how we're constantly, um constantly running out of money. <laughs> the, no, nobody ever comments on that, but I want to look at... Oh, we've got new vet research. We probably need to research something else, so let's have y'all research this. And mechanic research, let's have you research... Why don't you research... You know what? Research the drink shops, because that might enable us to get something else that'll help us make a little bit more money. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Um, alright. Dwarf came in is about to mature. Let's take a look at you. You're still a juvenile. I really want to see him age up, but sometimes it glitches out and it doesn't actually show them. So maybe we'll get to see this time. But I don't don't think so. We'll see. <laughs> oh, he's going up on the shore. Look how fast he running, my goodness. He running. It's not even it's sped up now. He's just moving. All right, inspector has arrived. Oh, is he aging up? I think he might be. No, maybe not. He's just vibing on top of the sibling there. He is zooming. <laughs> yeah. Um, it probably, you know, it's a pretty big game, so it's probably why it hasn't made it to the Switch. But um, he is vibing, apparently. No, I don't know why, just sitting on a sibling is pretty normal. <laughs> you know, that's a very, very, very siblings thing to do. Just crash down on top of the sibling as a, as a pillow. But I do want to see if he's going to age up here, which maybe if we speed up, he will soon. Let's see. 
Now you really zoom in. Okay. So, yep. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Um, they are going to start fighting if we don't stop them. So now he is an adult. I'm going to send him to storage in the trading center. And I think we have another adult as well. Where? Hello? Um, is there a problem? What's going on here? Um, I think it would be Valentina. Valentina might be going to pick a fight. Um, no, she's still a juvenile. I think what was happening is he was going to go pick a fight with his dad. Um, but I don't think... Are we alright here now? Are we good? Two alerts. Well, I think... I think the alerts may be that, um... It's just telling us that they, um... Oh, they're about to become elderly, though, so we are gonna have to switch them out. So I think I think that's what was ha I think that's all that happened is uh, it, he was gonna go start a fight. I don't think we're having a problem now. I think we're okay. All right, are we good? Are we good? Do we have anyone else who's gonna be aging up though? Is the problem? Valentina will soon, I think, but she's not quite yet. But let's take a look. Let's go to the animal trading because I want to look at, or you know what, we gotta look at the ones in our, oh yeah, here, it is ours. Okay, so Edvaldo. You know, I'm not gonna put him up for trade, I'm just gonna quick trade him, I think, because I think it's, it's gonna be a little bit easier that way. So we traded him out of the zoo. Um, two alerts. Are we sure? I think may, it might just be, okay, mechanic research is complete. People are donating. We're just having a really difficult time with this. Is this slowly dropping the cost to feed, though? I think it is. It is, it is, it is. Okay, so if we keep doing this for a little bit more, <laughs> then we should be able to do that. All right, what's going on here? Hungry. So the keeper's here. That should be fine, though, right? You should be able to go get food, right? Right? I think so. Okay, Valentina is about to mature as well. So she is going to grow up shortly. We can see. I don't think it actually does anything, though. It probably would be when we reload that they would show up as adults. Um, so I don't think we're going to get to see them grow up here, but we will. Um, we will get to see some of them as adults eventually because we are going to be keeping one of them as an adult. So let's see. I think we might, maybe we're starting to dig ourselves out of this. All right, yep, see, so now that she's an adult, we need to send her to storage. It, okay, so yeah, it just, it warns you that they're gonna start fighting because of overcrowding even before they do, but we are not going to let that happen because uh, we don't want there to be a problem. So let's see, Valentina, we are going to quick trade her as well. Again, not the greatest of genetics, um, but it's okay. Uh, we'll be trading them out to somebody else's zoo. How are the animals doing? She is pregnant again. <laughs> the, the snakes are already pregnant again. That that works. And how are we doing here? How are our gharials? How old are they? I think many... <sighs> Seriously? Alright, I guess we're gonna go back to $7 then. And we'll do $4.50. No! I'll just do $4 then. Um, mm, this is a bit of a problem. I'm just gonna kind of let the zoo vibe for a little bit as some of our some of our animals grow up because we do have to do this. VIP guests have arrived. This is significantly more of a problem than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. I don't know why we're having such a difficult time. Have we said we have not said hello to you? But we can do that. All right. We're getting there though. I think we're starting to. If we just hang out for a little bit more. So Marina is the one that we're going to be keeping even, um, like, even, like, we'll probably, I might put her in storage for a little bit until, well, I'm trying, I'm not sure. How many do we have here? What, a uh, barrier status we need to call the mechanic again. Let's look here. What's, I don't understand why it keeps giving me alerts. So we've got four babies right now. I think it's just giving us an alert because these guys can't have babies. But you can see the amount is going down per feed, so if we wait until the babies are grown then and trade some of them out, then we should be able to do that. So if we look at... I want to look at the babies, not the rock. I want to look at the baby. Um, she is 8.5 years old. These guys are 
starting to get older. I guess it was Callie who was all getting really older um, and is about to really retire. So what I might, I don't know if there's like a good place to retire them to or if we should, I guess, I don't know. Let's look in the, let's look in the um, Zoopedia here. I want to look at the Dwarf Cayman. And we'll see. Do you, can you keep that? Well, I don't know if we should do that either, though. Let's see. I want to look at the Dwarf Cayman here. Yeah, because you, you're only supposed to have one at a time if it's not a breeding group. So, I don't think... And we are really losing money still. My goodness, why? Why is this such a problem? I, 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 this is becoming a real issue because we can't do anything. Um, I think we might need to wait for the Garials to grow up. Because I think what we're going to have to do is probably retire some of the adults. Maybe we should do that, even. Maybe, well, what, once, once the babies grow up, I think we will retire the adults. And that'll cut down on the feeding cost for a little bit. Make it make it a bit easier. All right, vet research is complete again. Um, we're starting to make progress. We're gonna get the diseases researched at least. Um, but I think what what we'll do is once the bait once our first bait once our once the baby we're keeping grows up, then we will retire the parents to the training center and maybe we'll create sort of a temporary exhibit somewhere. Or what we'll do is when we have a different zoo. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll bring the the parents to that zoo and have them on display for a little bit. Oh, and the snakes have had another baby. All right, let's go ahead and we'll look here at your baby. We we'll look at the social health. Um, animals. Just Jacinta. Jacinta. I can't pronounce. I'm sorry. Um, better, but still not great. So we're gonna go ahead and move you to the trading center. And then if we look at exhibit trading, we're gonna go ahead. And we will quick trade you out. Which will help some with the finances, at least. But, um... Yeah, we're, st we're still waiting. But I think our adults are fine. If we look at... I don't think any of them are dangerously close to getting too old. So, we can keep... We can afford to keep breeding for a little bit. Um, and we're finally in positive money. I don't know how long that'll last. But I think we may need to just wait a little bit until the Garials, um... Until a lot of the Garials age up. Because that'll help us there, I think, because we are spending a fair bit... It's called a mechanic. I think we're spending a fair bit on Garial feed as well. Yeah, $2,200. That number can go down quite a bit. I may actually... Let's see. Let's take... Let's see. Who do we have? Because we had a third adult. Shreveya, I think, was the one... Oops. You're right here. You are not the mother, right? I'm going to actually move her to the Trade Center because I think that'll help. Yeah, well, the, I did not expect the Garials to have seven at once. That was not what I, um, not what I anticipated. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I, I, I really didn't know that was going to be a thing. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping it'll be a little bit cheaper. So we'll kind of just vibe for just a bit here and see because I think we're, we're very nearly getting there. We're very nearly getting there. All right, um, hang on a little bit. We've got the inspector again, and I think that's causing problems. Okay, two alert. No, can't find an accessible research. I guess we have three vets and two research stations, so that's probably what's going on there. Let's keep going a little bit. At least it's getting to be back to daytime, and our money is finally in the positive again, so I think this is helping. It's slow, but it's helping, I think. And then we'll place in a new exhibit species that should hopefully help as well. You actually earn a fair bit of money from trading the exhibit species, too, is the crazy part. That can actually help. Okay, good. We're at, like, $3,000, which is very helpful, finally. Um, it's probably going to drop right before we get there, though, is the issue. We're going to get there, and then it's, it's going to go down. All right, no, it's not. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to put the... Um, I'm gonna put the a new exhibit in. Let's do that. If we go, no, it would be under facilities. It would be small animal exhibits. We'll put one in this group. We will put one. Am I not allowed to? Malformed path part. Brilliant. Am I allowed to put one right here? No, I'm not, apparently. 
All right, let's, um, I am going to remove some of this path. We will go ahead, we will put, let's put in, it likes to be very fickle. It likes to be very, very fickle. Now form path part, why? All right, let's remove a lot of this. And we may have to remove that as well. We'll see. Put the exhibit in here. Still cannot. Put one right there. Maybe I should do that instead. But I don't really want... Well, you know what? That could work. I think we'll let the people move. Um, let's go ahead and we will put... I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll eat the people to their to an appropriate place. I'm sure it'll be fine. It this this will be fine, right? This should be fine. All right. Um I do not want that. I want this. That works. And if we deselect the grid, then I'm going to save here because I have had problems with big paths occasionally glitching me out. Also, hello and welcome to new people who are showing up for the stream. We're kind of just finishing off here and trying to get out of some financial trouble that we've had. I don't really know why we're continuing to, but you know what? We're, we're dealing with it. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do this. Why is this broken? It's been vandalized. Okay, we might actually need a security guard now. Um, finally. So let's see. I want to look at the animal trading and we'll figure out what, not animal trading, let's look at exhibit trading and see what other one, what other ones we have. Let's go to the exhibit animal market. We will clear the filter. Inspector has left. All right, let's go here. So we've got yellow anacondas already. We could do frogs. I want to look and see what ones are. There's also iguanas. I want to look and see which ones we've got. Okay, Goliath frog. You know what? I'm calling it a reptile house, but this is um, an amphibian, and I'm okay with that because look at the look at the stats on her. Let's go ahead and real quick look in the Zoopedia. But um, if we look. All right, that should be fine. One to two. 18 years. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and get a Goliath frog. Very, very large, very large frog. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go for it. I can still find her. She's still here. Where is our girl? Manifa! We'll go ahead and adopt her. We're gonna send a zoo and we're gonna put her in this exhibit. And now we'll turn this on, but that should. First of all, let's let's look at the windows because we can close certain windows. We want to close window four. 3D facade. And we will close over here, we'll close window, not one, window two, with a 3D facade. And that should work. All I gotta see, do a, well, see an iguana's walk out, all I gotta do to see an iguana is walk outside. Hey, if you live in the right area, yeah. Um, Goliath Frog Exhibit. And we have Monifa, who we will mark as uh, Monifa O. Um, her welfare is low because her exhibit is bad. We'll fix that in a minute. Um, we'll mark her with an O because she is our original one. So if we have babies, we want to make sure that we know which ones they are. All right, we haven't researched any enrichment, but we need humidity way up. So let's go up to about 80. See if that helps. And we do want to make sure that we put this. All right, let's, um, oh, we got a gift as well. Claim the rewards here. And yep, that's the problem that we, I was just saying we need to deal with. We gotta do, okay, we got vet research. Um, if we have a vet, okay, you are available to research the Goliath frog, but I want to look at the staff, the work zones, reptile house, and we will include this exhibit now too, which is perfect. So let's do that. Um, and what I want to do now is I do want to go to exhibit trading while we're waiting for some of our, um, uh, some of the, the gharials to age up. Okay, these are all females. So let's, let's wait for a little bit. I think she'll be fine in the meantime. Uh, she should be, right? Alright, if I go, hello, am I allowed to select the exhibit? I may not be. I'm allowed to select the bathrooms. There we go, now I can. All right, we're getting there. She is pretty happy, which is good to see. Um, she should be vibing in here. Oh, she's vibing in the water. She's just chilling out right down there, which is nice. All right, so we're getting there. We do, okay, mechanic research is complete. We do wanna probably add a security guard uh, at some point here, because if I look, I wanna see, 
Um, we have security and crime. That was the only one, so yeah, <laughs> baby zoo's first crime indeed. Uh, but we, well, you know what, I'm not gonna hire one right now, um, because it's not a huge problem. We'll, we'll deal with that when we have more finances. How are the babies here doing? Because this is kind of what we're waiting on. 9.2, so we're really getting there. Um, I may just... Hmm. No, I think it would be more beneficial to put the parents in storage and maybe we can bring them to another zoo at some point um, and have them hang out there for a little bit. Who the heck commits crime in a zoo is like they want to be eaten. Man, I saw a post somewhere on the internet about somebody who apparently stole a freaking penguin or something. Like, how do you even hecking do that? I, I don't understand how. I don't understand why you'd want to. I don't understand how any of that happened. How do you steal a penguin? I'm very confused. I, I, I don't know if it's like an urban legend or if it's something that actually happened, but my gosh, if it's real, how? How and why? And what even? I, I don't understand. I really don't. <laughs> I, I, I have a lot of questions and I'm honestly scared to find out the answers to many of them. What? <laughs> I, I don't even understand. Um. Yeah, I, I really don't. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, all I know is I've seen someone tell that story, and I, I, I don't know. I legitimately don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. The good news is we're finally out of debt for the most part. Um, let's take a look maybe at more of the, um, Oh, we got rotavirus uh, finished, so let's see if we can continue researching something else. We're gonna get all of our all of our things researched here, which is good. But uh, I want to look at the exhibit trading again, see what Goliath frogs are available. Refresh the list. We really don't have enough money for it. Okay, so it's all still females. It looks like. Um. But we're very near to okay. Hungry. They should be able to. They should be getting food, right? It doesn't seem like the game actually stops you from doing anything except buying new stuff if you go into debt. Like, you can still buy food, it'll just put you further in debt. So, I, we should be good, right? That research is complete, we've got more. Alright, more on Goliath Frog, that's great to see. How are the barriers doing? Good, and good. So hopefully they, hopefully the new schedule will keep them getting fixed on time. All right, we've got a lot more diseases that we can research, but we are making good headway on them, which is good to see. So, all right. And I will probably wrap up soon here. I just kind of want to get the uh, Caymans to adulthood, which, that's Callie. Uh, where are the babies? The babies are over here, 9.7 years old. They're getting pretty close. So once we've done that, that'll also put the Garials as closer to adulthood. And that'll help too once we can clear out some of the extra space in here. Um, let's look here. We've got Vahan. I looked at Vahan, right? Yeah, I decided he wasn't quite as uh, good genetic wise. But it, for them, it'll be near 10 years as well. So they've got a little bit further to go. The others are very close. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to have to eat dinner as well. Um, so I do want to wrap up soon here. Um, because we have got a little overtime, but, uh, I just want to get to the point where we can, uh, can sell some of these guys, uh, and, and be a little bit better settled here. So, yeah, because these guys are at 9.9 .9 years old, so that's, that's good. But yeah, thank you for staying in modding rain, even as we're running a little bit over. I didn't expect this to happen today. Um, but e, we are, we are getting there. All right. 9.9, .9, so yeah, it shouldn't be that much longer. And we are starting to build back up, and the snake has had another another baby. Um, oh my gosh. All right, Paloma, let's take a look at you. Um, once again, not the greatest gene, so I guess we're gonna sell another snake. Oh my goodness. Oh hey, we've got we've got Goliath frogs though. Let's look at uh, Lutalo here, who could potentially be a good match. Actually, yes, Lutalo is a pretty good match. Um, I do want to look at. Uh, Okachuku as well, but I expect he may not be as good. Yeah, so we want we want to go ahead and adopt Lutalo. Let's send him to the zoo. We'll send him here, and then we will make sure that we sell our uh, snake as well. Yeah, very giant frogs. 
I mean, look at them. They are they are large. <laughs> they are called Goliath frogs for a reason. Okay, that research is complete. We'll have to take a look at that. But I can't see where they went right now. Somewhere in here, there are some very large frogs. Oh, right here. Right here is one. You can see right at the edge there, there's a very, very, very large frog. I suppose that, that could be a little bit scary. Yeah, I actually really like frogs. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's G. It's or G. I always say her name wrong. Hello, G. She's uh, one, of, one of my artist friends. Who um, I think it must, it must weight it so that it's more likely to... Um, be so that you're more you're more likely to see uh people you know because i saw teacup summer not long ago as well and both of them we've friended in games so <laughs> uh i think it must wait in favor because now chi is here as well are we sure this isn't a horror game well if the caimans break out it might turn into that <laughs> all right let's see we could put another exhibit in we're low on cash still though i think overall oh no <laughs> Yeah, if you're scared of frogs, that is a pretty horrific sight to see. A, a ginormous frog. Um, I'm mostly scared of- what, re what really scares me is wasps. Wasps and bees and things that fly and sting. I've always kind of liked frogs. I've been neutral on snakes. I love lizards. But if it flies and it stings, I want it to keep its distance from me. And spiders are also very, very scary to me. Um, like, I've gotten better where I can- coexist in the same general area as them, but uh, if they scare me, it's just mm, mm, don't like that. <laughs> really don't like that. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit as well. Um, you're slowly getting used to lizards. That's good. Yeah, most animals are pretty chill if you just give them their space, too. Um, oh, that research is complete. Uh, for the most part, if you are giving your... Uh, if you're giving animals enough space... They're not going to bother you being afraid. Of oh, no. Yeah, be Florida might not be a fun place to be if you're scared of frogs. That that could be a bit of a problem. Um, let me see here. So 10.1 years. So we're getting very close. They age. Okay, here we go. So Mar uh, Marina is the one that we're actually going to be keeping. So I'm actually going to be moving her parents out of here. And eventually we'll have to try to find a mate. So we'll move Tristeo to the trade center. And I also want to move... Oh, Yara's also about to mature. I don't know where Callie went. So we might we might see Tristeo and Callie in another zoo at some point. Oh, Callie's right here, it looks like. Um, I'm going to send her here. We might, we might put them into another zoo at some point, but for now, we are not going to have them here. Um, oh my goodness, yeah. If it rains, the frogs croak all night. That, that's... A different experience than what I've had for sure because we don't have a lot of frogs because I live in a desert but it sounds like it would be both kind of a, a potentially cool thing but also kind of an unnerving thing all right when these guys age up because they are at 10.2 years now all right oh and Marina who is the one we are keeping has uh, aged up uh, she doesn't look it but apparently she is an adult now but Benedita we do want to send to the Trade Center um, and Fabiana we also want to send to the Trade Center, and, uh, Yara we also want to send to the Trade Center. So, at some point, we will be looking for a mate for, I did not click on her, Marina here. Uh, she is going to be our next, uh, breeding creature. Uh, she's got pretty good everything except for longevity, so maybe we'll actually look for a mate for her really quickly here. But I also want to make sure we go to animal trading and potentially we're, we're going to sell some of her siblings. But we will keep Tristeo and we will keep Callie because they might be, they might feature in another zoo. Uh, Benedita though, I'm going to quick trade. And, oops. Um, and Yara, I'm going to quick trade. They're not very good genetically, so it's probably not worth putting them up for, for actual sale. Um, and we don't probably want to bother with releasing them either. So we'll go ahead and trade Fabiana as well. And um, I'm going to look at the animal trading again. And we're going to be looking for the... Oops, not here. We're going to be looking for the dwarf caimans once again. Somewhere here. Let's go any... Uh, do, I, is, do I have the giant otter? I do have the giant otter selected still. So let's go up... And we'll go to the Cayman, and we'll look. Do we have... They do have some... Oh, we've got... There's some. There's actually some albino ones for sale, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't think... 
So let's, all of them are going to be very expensive though. Uh, we also want to make sure we're looking for a male. So let's go ahead and filter. And we'll see. Looks like these are the only ones available and a lot of them are going to be way too expensive. Um, how, okay, Diego is incredibly expensive. Let's look at some of the ones that are available. His, probably not so much, but let's look at Miguel maybe. Because we could afford him, um, actually... They're not all that different. So if we compare mates, if we look at Cali, or not Cali, sorry, Marina. Um, you know, I don't think I actually want to buy any of the ones that are for sale right now. We'll leave that for the next time and uh, continue on. But how are our Gariels doing? I do want to just check on them really briefly. And we'll see. There is our big boy chilling out in the flowers, taking a nap, I think. Um... He's just vibing Pranit, his name is. But all the babies are going swimming, it looks like. The inspector, I think, just arrived, I think. Or is maybe is leaving, I'm not sure. But um, the babies here are 7.9 years old. So they're getting... Um, oh yeah, the inspector just left. So they're getting there. Um, they'll probably age up in the next one, hopefully. But we're going to go ahead and end this off here for today. I just want to see how the uh, zoo did on the inspection. I think it's probably similar. Yeah. So, but next time we'll see if we can find a better a better mate for um, Marina here. Yeah, Marina. I keep feeling like I'm going to be saying her name wrong. But we are going to go ahead and end off here because it is getting to be about that time again. And we've got some balloons that are just floating off into the sky. <laughs> um... But yeah, so thank you guys for sticking around. A little bit of a longer stream than the last one, but we got a lot done. I do want to put the giant otters in next time and continue adding new exhibit animals probably because I think that may help us a little bit to have some more animals that uh, we can add to the zoo here. And it's a little bit cheaper and easier than building a full new exhibit every time, so we're going to be working on continuing to expand this in the future. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me here on uh, Twitch if you guys have not already. Uh, that way you'll be able to tune in whenever there's a new stream and you won't miss out. But uh, I will catch you guys next time. And until then, this is Jay. Over and out.